Whoa, 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 where am I? These are new surroundings. Help! Uh, okay, I'm used to it now. This week, I have mostly been eating... Whoa, look at that. Toffee apple. Yeah. Bits of dried apple. And dipping toffee. Yummy. Hello, everyone. Once again, you are watching Life on Rob. So, what's on my mind today? Hmm. Toilets. Toilets are on my mind. Well, more specifically, toilet seats. Now, it's been the biggie over the years. Toilet seats. Sorry about the shakiness of the camera, by the way. The, uh, when I bought this, the Samsung Galaxy S2, it said that it had uh, image stabilisation. Little did I realise it was just for taking photos. I mean, how stupid is that? Oh my god, just for taking photos, really? I've really just assumed it was video stabilization and uh, yeah toilet seats right it's been one of those big things of contention between the sexes between the genders between the male and females that you know the women say ha ha you keep leaving the toilet seat up well you know the men, men do that because they don't want to pee all over the seat they're gonna do it sometimes because I'm afraid that the little fella down there sometimes doesn't come out at the right angle unexpectedly so you know guidance system every little bit of extra retail they can they can buy there around that toilet pan that's a good thing right so you know ultimately if, if the toilet seat is down the man's ultimately going to be picking that bad boy up and, uh, <laughs> and then going to the loo now then the argument that women would make is well you know why should I have to keep putting it down to go well okay the argument being that the uh, women say, well, you know, I have to touch the toilet seat. But then doesn't the man have to touch the toilet seat too? What's the difference? Or is it supposed to be like gender courtesy at that point? All right, I can sort of see that one. Gender courtesy. Or do some households maybe run it that uh, they go by household majority? So if there's like uh, a lot more men in the house than there is women or vice versa, then it's the majority rule <laughs> that goes into what you do with the toilet seats or what? How does it work? How do you do it? But then, then you've got the other issue. What if somebody, for instance, had a, I don't know, a, an infection of the bladder or something like that? I mean, they're going to go to the loo a hell of a lot. Would you say, oh, well, you know, it's a woman that's got the bladder infection, so it means that for now, even though the men have the majority thing, women, for, for now, all the time, she's got the bladder infection. Oh, it's really great that you've got that bladder infection. It means that we get the toilet seats down. You know, it's just open to stupidity, such a system, isn't it? So, I'm kind of curious. Question of the day. How do you handle it? What do you do in your households about toilet seats? Unless you're a bachelor and then you're laughing, aren't you? But, yeah, just kind of curious, really.